second week of league action was underway Friday night. The Mini Monarchs entering the Rage Cage, home of the St. Francis Lancers, and the GSF crew just can't help but remember last year's epic finish. A blocked field goal by the Monarchs sealed the deal and helped Mitty survive a nail-biter at the pit. We'll see if this one's just as memorable. First quarter, the Lancers on their first possession of the night, and it's Devin Hurtado getting the call. Monarchs unable to contain the bruising back. He'll take it in from 77 yards out. SF quickly up 6-0 after a missed PAT. Later in the quarter, Lancers inside the Monarch 30. Fourth and seven, but looking to strike, but not on prime time's watch. Dakari Monroe with the interception. He could have knocked it away with it being fourth down, but he'll return it back to the 28 anyways. However, Mitty can't capitalize on the turnover. We jump to the second. Mitty on the attack around midfield. Quarterback Brett Foley letting it fly, and wideout Ben Granberry showing off the hops. He'll bring down the rock for a gain of 32 yards. Monarchs quickly follow that up with a few solid runs by Derek Bowerly, putting Mitty in the red zone, but things would stall and force a fourth and six situation just outside the Lancer 10. Mitty rolling the dice and going for it, fully scrambling under pressure, trying to keep the play alive, looking for the end zone, gets Monroe, but no, the pass is broken up by number four Riley Quinn, turnover on downs. Mitty's next possession, Foley under pressure again by linebacker Steven Deneen. Foley trying to get rid of it, but the ball comes loose. It's kicked around and Mitty would recover, but it's down for a safety. Lancers would end the half up 8-0. Third quarter, St. Francis punting on their first possession of the half. Bowerly taking it from the 25, and look at him go. Racing down the sideline, and he's down at SF's 25. Four plays later, Bowerly will finish what he started from two yards out. That puts Mitty on the board, but after a failed two-point conversion, Lancers still lead 8-6. We fast forward towards the end of the third and have yourself a night, Mr. Bowerly. Burst through the hole, and that's all she wrote. 96 yards and the touchdown, his second score of the night. Give this man some oxygen, please. Allen would spell Bowerly for the two-point conversion. Monarchs take the lead, 14-8. Fourth quarter, Lancers ready to respond and they'll give it to their workhorse in Hurtado. Shrugging off the tackles and willing himself in for six. A 15-yard run, St. Francis regains control, 15-14. Late fourth, Mitty in the two-minute drill. Monarchs around midfield, pass complete to Ben Manley, stops the clock, Mitty moving the chains. A couple plays later, Foley under pressure, and he goes lefty, completes it to Granberry, and the Monarchs are still breathing. Tick, 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 Foley to Monroe, the chains keep moving, but Mitty's just about out of time, 3.3 seconds left, Mitty will go for the win with a 48-yard field goal attempt, and that's not gonna cut it. The field goal is no good. Another memorable WCAL matchup for these two squads. Lancers 15, Monarchs 14.